Hey, how's it going? Diamond here. And today we're taking a look into how to install Minecraft 1.20.5. This just released at the timing of this recording. And I genuinely wanted to do a video on this because this is such a unique, smaller Minecraft version that actually adds quite a bit. For example, the new dog and the armadillo and the dog armor or wolf armor, whatever you want to call it, doesn't matter. I want to teach you guys how to properly download and run a server. And to keep this tutorial relatively short and simple, this will cover the vanilla version. However, it's going to be a very similar process for both paper and spigot however for spigot you will have to compile it you don't need to worry about that as i went ahead and left a compiled version in the description down below if you want to download that for paper however it has not yet been updated as it first requires spigot to be updated then it updates when that comes out you will be able to download it from its website but if you even want a simpler version of course you can just use revivenode.com with them it's a really easy process just going into the version changer selecting a version you want for example we can try out spigot that's already been updated and we can just click on 1.20.5 install it'll give you a prompt that says it's been completed then go into console and all you have to do is start the server it's relatively that simple but whoever wants to learn the process as well always make sure to accept eula i'm going to teach you that right now to get started we will have to download a jar so you can either download it for two methods you can go into your launcher and then select the latest 1.20.5 so it will always be under latest versions you can go ahead and click on the three dots on the right hand side this is going to be in the installations of course and then click on edit and here you'll be able to download the jar itself or if you want to as well you can scroll down on the latest minecraft article of minecraft java 1.20.5 and here you can see a minecraft jar as well you can click on that and it'll start downloading that jar as well so you can use either method it doesn't really matter once you got all that done we can leave these and we're gonna go ahead and just create a folder we're gonna call this minecraft server the name doesn't really matter in here, we're just going to go ahead and upload that jar we just downloaded. It should be under server.jar. Next, thing we're going to do is just open up our text document. So for example, I'm going to use just notepad for this one. And it's relatively simple. We're just going to type in here Java dash capital X M X. And I'm just going to do one G. So one gig dash jar. And then this is going to be your jar name. So in this case, server.jar. After that, we're gonna click enter and we're going to do pause in all caps like that. After that, we can go ahead and do control S. You wanna go into your Minecraft folder directory and in here is where we're going to rename it to start dot bat save that we can actually just start up the server by clicking on that file it will generate all the necessary files however you can see here you need to agree to the eula in order to run a minecraft server we can just click any key and that message will be removed and we're going to go into the eula and in here we're just going to switch from false to true of course always read the eula as you are complying to minecraft's terms of services after you have that saved you can go ahead and just start it up and if you haven't yet you can also just download minecraft 1.20.5 while that's doing all the necessary parts you might get an extra screen as well hey and this is new i like it all right and just like that you can see that both of them are online it doesn't take after you boot it up the first time the second time is a lot quicker and you can go into minecraft go ahead and click on multiplayer and here you can add a server I'm just going to do Ted and I will put the name as local host because I'm locally hosting this server. Of course, I would never recommend you truly sharing your IP with others unless it's tr close friends that you'd highly trust, but don't do it for a large network. Always go for a server provider if you can. After that, we can just join in the server and we are in the game. It's really that simple. As you can see, we do even have a new dog variant right here or full variant whatever you do whatever you want to call it but hey that's the tutorial right there you can follow these steps for spigot and for paper as well and if you guys ever want i can do a fabric or forge video in the future however that's going to be it for today hope you guys have an amazing day and under that i'm diamond and i'll see you guys next time happy mining cheers